In this lesson, I want to explain how to change the avatar properties. It's very important when you <clears throat> click a part of this avatar. If you turn on the garment, this is our avatar. If you click on the hands, if you cl click on the body, on the head, on the leg, as you can see here, we have a different properties for avatar. For example, if you select the head of the avatar, as you can see here, you can change the uh, body style, but you have to, I prefer to uh, <clears throat> import them from the library. But the most important thing in avatar properties, I want to explain the offset and the friction of the uh, avatar in a uh, character avatar or any avatar that you insert. I will explain them with a slope. I inserted a slope as an avatar, 3D OBJ file. Here is a texture. If you click on the texture, as you can see, you can open the texture uh, on this path. And as you can see, there are textures here with a uh, UV uh, model of the avatar, as you can see. You can open this face on a Photoshop and change anything that you want, okay? If you select the body, as you can see, we have the body texture here inserted. And uh, we don't change any of them because this is a uh, <clears throat> 3D UV model that you can insert and paint it with a nice texture on it. And it's a matte, okay? Uh, it's a matte. You can make it shiny, but in the body, we don't want it. So, the most important thing that I want to explain it is here. A skin offset first and the friction going here and turn on the avatar again and as you can see we have a, some uh, distance between the skin of the body and the fabric and it's here call a skin offset in millimeter in three millimeter okay if you want to exactly fit the body you can change the offset zero and as you can see, it's dropped down exactly on the body of the character, but it's not very good because sometimes in a simulation, uh, maybe body come out from the clouds. I will be explaining them after, uh, in the next lessons, but it's here. That it's, we have an interesting tool. If you want to simulate your final work, you have to hire your garment. If you click the higher the garment and hit OK, it changed some settings for you. First, it don't need it. It first changed the particle distance to smaller number to better simulation the fabric. Additional text, uh, we explain it later. Here the skin offset is zero. So, um, if you want to high quality, and as you can see, the simulation quality uh, changes uh, fitting. Uh, properties if you hit okay these four important properties for garment avatar and simulation automatically change if you want to change it in manually you have to select the particle pattern uh, go and change the particle distance one by one and then go in here and then go into the avatar chain you have to uh, change four properties for better here the software do it automatically, everything for you. If you want to lower this garment, if you have no powerful system, as you can see, we have a higher number of particle distance, higher number of the collision, additional collision with garment to garment. We have the skin offset as a regular and a normal, as you can see. So better for everything is a skin offset of zero. And that's it, okay? So you no uh, and now you know the, the skin offset i want to explain the uh, static friction and uh, kinetic friction this is a static friction it means if your avatar is stay in your its position and uh, you want just to fitting a colossus to on it you can use it it is a friction between the body and the class and of course if you go to the the fabric properties here if you select it sorry if you're going down 
uh, in a detail of the physical properties of the fabric again down here we have the friction friction of the <clears throat> this pattern these colossus to each other and of course to the to body and avatar so you have two sitting for changing the friction select the main fabric in the physical properties detail here and we have another friction static if we select the avatar and another interesting uh, friction is when you add a motion when you add a motion to your uh, character and it's running for example it is uh, now called kinetic uh, friction it's motion friction when your character you can change it okay its number is nice for default as you can see you can see the avatar out of the but you have to better simulation for this case for uh, using and sewing and closing we change the simulate we keep that three millimeter off the skin uh, i insert another slope that you make in your 3d software as an avatar to explain the friction go to the file and then import you can import obj okay navigate from your system and here is the import obj i want in a load tab it's very easy i want to add it i want to this mm, scene add the scene and ob object type you want to insert as a terms or garment or scene i want to insert it as an avatar because i want to drop the clothes drop the pattern on it and act on the avatar scale my default unit is in millimeter and everything is good and it's okay and as you can see these three models are imported as a slab and i want to uh, create a pattern here to explain the friction okay going to the 3d here <clears throat> we bring it to the this part better and as you can see everything is in default if you are simulated as you can see it's falling down because of the uh, gravity <clears throat> nice okay as you can see we have a friction and it does not slow very fast if you select the fabric if you select the fabric uh, this friction is of course fabric to fabric and the fabric to the avatar you can make it a zero and see the changes okay in this case it does not change anything because we have to change the friction of the avatar this is avatar i insert it as avatar select it here we have a skin offset if you want it you can make it a zero to exactly go the surface and here in static friction if i make it a, a higher number for example one simulate as you can see this uh, the a pattern does not fall down because the friction is in higher but if i make it a zero as you can see it's a slope down more fast or you can of course set it in a zero again and a slope as you can see it's sliding very fast than if you friction so you see if you make the friction in a high number uh the behavior uh, the be the behavior of the pattern to the avatar is changing so be careful about the friction and set it as a default the default is this number and you can set it leave the default number we need a friction because uh, in a real world we have a lots of friction if you set it to zero for example if uh, your character running your classes behave uh, funny it's a slide it's jumping other so we need a friction of course kinetic friction of this number here in the avatar you can change it and paste it here 
okay so now you learn the uh, all kind of friction and how to insert your avatar <laughs> The, the in a closed 3D does not mean just a person you have to insert it out. You can insert any uh, model as an avatar, or you can insert them as a garment if you want it. That I will be explained in the next lesson. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now. You will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.